I want to make a video to show people how to set up and test a USB watchdog with HiveOS. It, this is, device is very useful and it can uh, reboot frozen miners, which is what I find the most useful. It can uh, do a lot of different things. So some, mo some models can actually uh, see if the internet connection is still working and reboot the miner and, you know, monitor all kinds of things. And if you also configure the uh, hash rate watchdog in HiveOS, if your hash rate uh, dips below whatever you set it to, the USB watchdog will eventually reboot the miner. Now, let's uh, get into how to set this thing up and make sure it's working. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is turn off your miner, plug in the USB watchdog, Plug in the headers into both pins, power and reset, and then plug in, plug in the pins to the corresponding power and reset headers on the motherboard. Once you're done with that, make sure everything's in the correct position and turn on the miner. Once the miner is on, I have your monitor and keyboard hooked up, or if you know the IP address, SSH into your miner. Once you're at this screen like I am, you're going to want to type in journal. Journal CTL dash U Hive dash B zero pipe grep dash I watchdogs. What this will do is it'll pull only lines that include the word watchdogs from the boot. So let's do that. So as you can see in the last line, you see Quinn Hang Electronics LH340 watchdogs found one. So that means my watchdog is detected and it should be working correctly. But if you're in a situation where you do not see your watchdog is working correctly and you have the same watchdog that I have, um, then we can see if we can try to make it work. Now, what you're going to want to do next is type in LS USB. What this will do is give you a list of all the USB devices plugged into your computer right now. Now, the first device is going to be my device. And I know it is because there is no description next to it. So 51, 31, 20, 07. So be sure to remember your device ID. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is go into this directory. CD slash hive slash opt. And then let's type in LS. What you see here is a list of different directories and each of these directories are for a different watchdog program. Open Dev is probably one of the most popular ones for Hive OS and Quinn Hang is probably the most uh, popular watchdog out in the public. So let's go into Quinn Hang. What you're going to want to do is VI or nano into hl340.s340.sh and you're going to want to write over here see how my how it includes my device ID 5131207 if yours is not included among the ones here you're going to want to add a uh, pipe and add in your device ID to this line of code. Once you're done, you're going to want to save this. And once it's saved, you're going to want to then reboot your computer. Once your computer is rebooted, you're going to want to type in this command in again, the journal CTL dash u hive dash b zero pipe grep dash i watchdogs command and then you should now see quinn hang electronics lh dash three four zero watchdog found and uh, 
now it's working. I have one being detected as was before. Now, the next thing you want to do to make sure it's working is you're going to want to ping your device. So you can uh, type in hive uh, slash hive slash opt slash quin and then the name of the script and then you're going to want to type in ping and then you're going to type in the path which is dev slash um, china china underscore dog zero that should be it and there we go now if you're in front of your watchdog and you look at the LED light you should see the LED like LED light blink for every time the watchdog is pinged. What this is, is the um, computer is checking to make sure its connection between the watchdog and the computer is fine. If your computer is frozen, it would not be able to ping the watchdog. So what would happen is the watchdog would detect a problem and then send a reboot to the miner. So this is how it would detect if there is a uh, problem with the miner being frozen. Now I'm going to press control C and stop this. Now of course the uh, the ultimate way to test it would be type in hive slash opt slash quin hang and the uh, script name and you would type in restart. So and then you'd press enter and then what would happen is the miner would then turn off and turn back on. And you can also type in power, which will just shut the miner off. I'm not going to do this because I've uh, tested it already and uh, I can confirm mine's already working. But be sure to do that to yours to make sure that the uh, miner is actually turning on and off and rebooting uh, with the uh, watchdog. This would be this is a good way to troubleshoot to make sure you didn't get the headers mixed up or anything like that. And then once you confirm that that is in fact working then you can pretty much rejoice in the fact to know that your watchdog is working too. Now the last thing you're going to want to do is is uh, hold on one second you're going to want to configure the hash rate watchdog in HiveOS, because if your rig has a zero hash rate, uh, when your rig actually wants to reboot after the allotted time, for me it's five minutes, it'll actually use the watchdog to reboot, which is very good. And by using the watchdog to reboot, it can help potentially resolve frozen minor issues and other possible issues. So all in all, I do recommend uh, people consider getting one of these watchdogs, especially if they're having a, a lot of issues with their minor freezing, as I was with my AMD rig. And if you guys have any other questions or need help with anything else, be sure to leave a comment below and uh, follow me on Twitter and uh, all other links for software and stuff like that is in the description. Thank you for watching.